Hey, ladies. Good morning, ladies. Yeah. Breakfast time. Yeah. It is so vital and important that we understand that we need a healthy soil biome. I get so passionate about it, how vital it is to the maintenance of civilization. My family started renting this farm and finally bought it in 1850s. My grandfather, who I learned a lot about the farm from, inherited it in the 1940s. I've had a really eclectic variety of jobs through my life, from acting to modeling in New York City and London to the wildlife charity. And then I came back here and settled in and found everything I need. My grandfather was an early purveyor of organics and I followed through being a regenerative farmer. <laughs> Look at you pups. Yes, you're bold. Can you get back? It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. I am a blanket designing shepherd, farming with nature to regenerate soils and biodiversity. I feel alive when I'm outside working with nature and feeding the animals and feeding the soil. I have alpaca, sheep and horses, which I continually rotate through paddock grazing system to keep a complex diversity of plant life, which helps regenerate the soil. I'm always trying to increase the food quality for the microbial and microbial life in the soil. Because when they're invigorated in the winter with delicious food, when the growing season occurs, they're feeding the plant life and the nutrition means the plants go, yay, food. The ground here was bale grazed in October, three months ago. And you can see no hay and no manure, or very little manure, because the insects and the soil and the microbes have all absorbed the manure and the hay. But if we walk, we track, to more recent times, you'll slowly start seeing loads of hay and manure to where I'm gonna start establishing the next seed bed. This is the last place they were at. A complex, biodiverse plant life in the fields makes my sheep really healthy, which in turn makes the fleeces they grow really strong and also makes the meat really delicious. Fibers that are grown from the land and from healthy soil through a regenerative farming practice, it's healthier for the environment both as you use it to wear it and grow it to when it decomposes back into the soil without the petroleum-based ingredients which degenerate the biological life. A vital aspect to the coming forward and the growing of our civilization is to realize the importance of provenance of the clothing you wear. The fiber I take as wool to a local woolen mill where they clean, spin, and weave my fiber products, which are then sold all over the world. I think 
think that's good. There is a lot of tough physical work. In mucky, muddy, or deep, snowy weather, it is relentless hauling things about the place on your own. I can get depressed through physical exhaustion, and that's when I call in a friendly neighbor or friend when I need help. Girls. Good girls. Hey, sweetie. Oh, come here, gotcha. Brindle, quiet. There we go. Okay. People all over the world love following everything that I'm doing on social media. It's like a unique support system that when I started farming, I never dreamt would exist. It's different. Here we go. A little bit done and dusted. See, it's that easy. <laughs> yeah. Very often I'm purely grateful for where I am and where I live and what I do. My hope is that my passion for this regenerative farming and the soil I won't have to be as vocal about it anymore because more people will be taking it up and doing it and farming it and believing in it and earning an income from it and a living from it. It, it, it gets its own life out there. And this is why I really feel there's hope for soil, civilization, and the environment in the future. Come on, pups. 